Welcome back to Under Abde News. Today we have two special subjects. First of all, Jean-François Hull quit the Laval market following by the Stanley Cup final game number seven Monday night. And finally, I'm going to give you some probabilities what could happen for the Montreal Canadian at the fifth overall pick in 2024 NHL draft. First of all, Jean-François Hull, after he signed a contract with the Laval market three weeks ago, decided to become the head coach of the Claxon University. Remember, Hull played his NCAA career with the Claxon University and his family still living in USA. This is a great move for Jean-François Hull, the Montreal Canadian accept uh, the decision and i think this is a mutual agreement between both parties now of course the laval rocket are looking for a new head coach we have two candidates for the qm stephan julien and sylvain fabreau possible benoit grew ex head coach of syracuse and american colleague with the temple bay lightning affiliation could be another candidate for the laval rocket but definitely in the next couple of days we're going to get a little bit more information who could become the head coach of the laval rocket for the upcoming season ladies and gentlemen they did it again. The Oilers won the game number six, but it's called five to one. And now we got game number seven Monday night uh, in Florida when the Panthers are going to try to get the Stanley Cup uh, for the first time of the history. This is a wild, wild, wild playoff Stanley Cup. Uh, I never see this in my life. First of all, we have one more win for the piece of the Stanley Cup history. Few will ever forget that. One more win for the hockey greatness player stem his legacy, Connor McDavid. We have one more win for the first time the cup return in Canada 31 years ago. Last thing was the Montreal Canadiens in 1993. We have one more game. What could become the most memorable Stanley Cup final ever? If the Oilers win Monday night, and finally, one more loss uh, that will crush the Florida Panthers in the way that could be very difficult for a franchise to recover from. This is going to be happening Monday night, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Finally, guys, my last subject of the day is a Montreal Canadian draft pick probability. So I did some kind of exercise. What could happen if the Chicago select this players or this Chicago select another players? And what Montreal could select from that situation. So we have two options. Option one and option two. So let's start with the option number one. The Chicago select even Dimitrov. 50% of the chance I believe Chicago could go with Dimitrov. They could have a duo dynamic with Bedar and Dimitrov. If this happening, the Anand Ducks now have two options. They can go with a forward and a Defenseman and the Anand Ducks have 75% to select a defenseman. Now they can go with a forward at 25%. It could be Caden Linkstrom. I still believe if Dimitab is out, Anam are going to select Letchenov. Now, what could happen now with the pick number four for the Columbus Blue Jacket? Here's my option. If they select Letchenov, Columbus have now one option, in my opinion, Linkstrom. I gave them a 65% to get that direction. Now, they can get a Seliev example or any other defenseman, but I feel like it at only at 35%. And finally, if Anam go with Langstrom, that will give three forward out of the top three. Definitely, Columbus get a defenseman. But now, what happened with the Montreal Canadiens? Montreal Canadiens, if Chicago select Dimitrov, Anaheim, Lichenov, and Columbus Langstrom, Montreal Canadiens have 40% to select a forward. The Montreal Canadiens could get a defenseman at 60% if we have Langstrom select by the Columbus Blue Jacket. Why? Because now we have Dimitrov and Langstrom out of the picture for the Montreal. That's the reason I believe Montreal could go with the defenseman. If the Columbus does not select Langstrom, they select a defenseman like Ziliev. But now Montreal Canadiens are definitely to select a 100% a forward. Finally, my last scenario and my option one, if the Chicago select Dimitrov, I am go with Langstrom and Columbus select a defenseman. But Montreal Canadian again, have 60% to select a defenseman and 40% a defenseman. Why? Because we have only three forward out of the picture and only one defenseman. I feel a Montreal Canadiens are targeting more a defenseman. Let's move on now, guys, for my option two for the probability for the Montreal Canadiens. 
My option two guy, if the Chicago select not the Mitar, but they select Lechenov, again, I gave them 50%. That's changed the scenario for the Montreal Canadian. And now Anaheim have two options there. They can go with a defenseman at 50%. If Lechenov is out at number two, the chance to select a defenseman, Anaheim dropped to 75 to 50%. And they are thinking maybe to select Dimitrov at 50 percent that opened up now more scenario for the montreal canadian now what could happen with columbus blue jacket if an arm select a defenseman now the columbus could select dimitar is still on the board at 95 percent we know the new general manager dan waddell not afraid to select russian player we know he selected andrey chevnikov a couple of years ago and i give them only five percent for columbus to select over dimitar if an am don't take a defenseman but more dimitar now the columbus blue jacket have two options it could be Langstrom or a defenseman, but I guarantee you guys, if Dimitrov is out, if Lechinov is out, Columbus Blue Jacket are not going to skip on Langstrom. This is a guarantee, and that will give Montreal Canadian other option. Now, let's see what Montreal can do with that. First of all, if the Chicago select Lechinov, Anaheim select a defenseman, and the Columbus select Dimitrov, Montreal Canadian guarantee them to select at least 80% a forward that open up only 20% as a defenseman but if the scenario change it can be select a defenseman where it's only 5% I predict the Montreal Canadian are going to select a forward because Dimitrov could be there for the Montreal Canadian or Lindstrom finally if the Chicago take Lipschenov, Dimitrov and Lindstrom that give now Three forward versus one defenseman on the top four. The Montreal Canadian are going to select 60% defenseman and 40% as a forward. That give you guys all the probability of the Montreal Canadian. I'm not done yet. I'm going to give you the resume of my probabilities. First of all, we have four picks scenario. We know one, two, three, four. If the scenario is three forward plus one defenseman, Dimitrov, Lengsom, Celebrini plus Luchenov. The Montreal Canadiens have 70% chance to select a defenseman and 30% to select a forward. Finally, if after four picks we have two forward, two defensemen, Montreal Canadian now have 90% chance to select a forward and only 10% to select a defenseman. Finally, my last graphic, guys, is a bit friends because I'm going to give you the property which player the Montreal Canadiens could select at the fifth overall pick. Here we go. Forget, guys, even Dimitrov. Sorry, but I don't see Dimitrov would be available at the fifth overall pick for the Montreal Canadian. Let's go in the middle. Kaden Langstrom, I give him 30% chance to be with the Montreal Canadian. If he's still on the board, he's going to be the player Montreal are looking for. On the top corner, DG Igela. I give 25% exactly like Seneca. Both of them could be available if Langstrom is out and Dimitrov is out. And finally, my last player the Montreal could looking for is the defenseman. I put right now Bjorn for 20%, but it could be Parek, Ziliev, or any other defenseman. This gives you all the probability on the Montreal Canadian could select at the fifth of our pick. I did all friend Matt. I feel this could happen at the fifth overall pick by the Montreal Canadiens on the NHL Draft 2024. Hopefully you enjoy my properties of Montreal Canadiens pick. I would love to hear from you below this video. What do you think of my exercise? And definitely what do you think about old quit the Laval Rocket? If, are you ready for the Stanley Cup Final game number 7 Monday night 8 o'clock Eastern Time? Until the next time my friend and don't forget to please to click on the likes and subscribe and leave me a comment. And we thank each one of you to watching my video every single day about the Montreal Canadian. And of course, remember, you have greatness inside of you. And we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody.